to Charlotte Motor Speedway. Qualifying is underway here for the KRP.com Sprint Car Series. Obviously, we're right outside of the Charlotte Motor Speedway at the dirt track. Five minute qualifying session. Drivers will have two laps to set their best time. We watch the 46 Adam Crozier out on track. Crozier sets the benchmark of 1460. Out of shape there on lap number two. That's going to hurt his time. It'll be slower on lap two. So he's my in the seven. Quinn Newton <laughs> sets the best time a thirteen point four six and then wrecks after crossing the line. Scott Elston cave RP tracks his car. Goes second quick. Second lap quicker and Elston goes to the top of the chart. Nathan Lafayette grabs the third position as Hoitzma gets a lap to count, but he'll be fifth quick. Scott Elston with the 45. 42. Elston on the top of the charts. Out there getting extra practice in. We have not seen Wilson, Nagel, or Mullins go out yet. Nagel sitting on pit road. As is Wilson. Wilson starting to roll. Wilson's been strong all season. We'll see if he can jump up here and grab the pole for the heat race. Wilson's first lap good enough for pole. Second lap a little bit quicker. <laughs> and then he destroys the car. Well, Wilson jumps up to the top spot. Demon Nagel moves up to second. First lap of 13.39. Second lap 13.35. So he picks up but remains second. Yes, big time dead there, Wolfie. Cliff Mullins, well, the last the car to go out and quality. We don't need that right now, we're qualifying. <laughs> First lap puts Mullins six quick. He's able to move up on lap two. Goes up one spot better to fifth as he jumps over his teammate Nathan Lafayette. Cliff Mullins will be fifth to start the heat race. Now we show you Damon Eagle doing practice for the last 30 seconds. Followed by one double wide crew. Uh, the guys that did it last year or last season know how to do it. Uh, if you could do it. How about the new ones that didn't do it last year if they need help? I think they're trying to do Other a four wide salute today. Run, be mindful of your run and take you up with them. On the four wide, the odd rows go to the outside, the even rows go to the inside. <laughs> Those are so much fun. And that is for the future. Uh, here we go. Off to the heroes. I think they're talking about the four wide salute a little early. I think they're going to do that for the main, not the heat.
Yeah, I'd be pretty mad about that, Dan. <laughs> I would not be happy. All right, eight cars for our heat race here. We'll set the starting lineup. Uh, Brad Wilson, Damon Nagel on the front row. Scott Elston, Quinn Newton, row two. We have Cliff Mullins, Nathan Lafayette, row three. Adam Krajur and Lucas Hoitzma, row number four. Hoitzma, usually one of the fastest cars. We'll see how he tries to work his way up to the front of the field throughout this heat and then the main. Eight laps, caution laps don't count. For the car there. Or I didn't see one. <laughs> I thought Daniel was on the no terms. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got somebody worse than Daniel. <laughs> Driver's having fun already. Pace truck's heading in. Have to wait for the green on this first start. Field rolls through three and four. Green's out. Wilson and Nagel can take off. There it is. Green flag's in the air at Charlotte. We are underway in our heat race. This will set the lineup for our main. Struggle there for Elston. A bit sideways coming out of the corner. He's falling back. Wilson, Nagel, Newton, your top three. We have Lafayette and Hoitzma. Hoitzma already up from eighth, working to get fourth here. Lucas around the outside of the double zero of Lafayette. Hoitzma will take over fourth position. Just about a lap and a half went from last to fourth. Impressive. Wilson, a comfortable margin up front. Nagel. Newton, the top three. Hoitzman trying to close in. Seven car rocketing from the back of the pack. Lafayette, fifth. Elston's fallen to sixth after his strong qualifying run. And you have Mullins and Crozier. Crozier looks like he's been up against the fence. Falling back from the field a bit. Laps are quick here. 13 seconds. Click off in a hurry. We watch Brad Wilson shed into a shine team leading the heat. Nagel in the Trevor Project machine sits in second. Quinn Newton CTC BGR engines low drag car has his teammate right on his back bumper as we come to two to go. Oh, Hoitzma clips the tire on the inside, <laughs> slows him down a bit, but he hangs onto the car. That was impressive. White flags in the air, and Hoitzel wipes out Quinn Newton. He takes his teammate to the fence. As the white flag's in the air, Brad Wilson going to get the win. Damon Nagel second. Lafayette third. Elston fourth. The Mullins fifth. Newton going to bring it home in sixth. Krajor seventh. <laughs> Hoitzma. Oh my goodness, Hoitzma just wiped out Quinn Newton. <laughs> well, that happened. Now the CTC boys are going to be in the back of the field for the main event. Shame for Newton. He qualified up in the top three. A right, two-minute warm-up here before we get going. Let's see if we can get a word with some of our folks here. Brad Wilson picking up the heat win. Let's see if he's hanging out anywhere. Nope, not seeing him. We have everybody else in the race in Discord. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can have a word with Lucas and see what happened there. Lucas, DG, got a copy? Hello? Quinn. Hi. Well, I brought you both in now since Lucas wasn't answering. <laughs> what happened there between you two coming at the end of the heat? He's terrible. Mm. Apparently, apparently, he thought he could throw a slide right. 20 yards back. No, here's what happened, all right? 
I said it would happen. Got a little bit of wheel damage. I hit the tire, so I was like, all right, I give up. Quinn's going to get third. So then I just go into the nice corner with a little bit of a safe line, bring it down to the bottom so I don't hit him on entry. And then he decides to run a cut down for no damn reason. <laughs> and hit me. So it's Quinn's fault. I've been running the same line the whole race. <laughs> <laughs> See about that. Uh, I don't see know whose fault it is in the feature, huh? Mm. Uh, let's see who makes it longer. I get. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Good luck. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Quinn Newton, Lucas Weisberg, disagreeing on what happened there in the warm-up. Those two teammates, entertaining to say the least. Cliff Mullins, only one out there on track doing the warm-up. Everyone else said to hell with the warm-up. And that'll do it for the warm-up. Cliff Mullins, your fastest and slowest car in the warm-up. Well done, Cliff. Good job. Cliff, DG, got a copy? Hey, I got you. Well, sir, you were both the fastest and slowest car in warm-up. How do you feel about this? I mean, hey, it's pretty good to be the only one that shows up and uh, goes out there and runs a lap. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're fast in a warm-up. That's the only thing we're going to be fast in. <laughs> How many cars do you think you'll hit before the end of the race? Uh, at least three. At least three. I'm going to hold you to it. Okay. <laughs> good luck. Yep. <laughs> Cliff Mullins in the 37. Always entertaining. Let's see what we got for our lineups here. I'm going to have to use a rear chase. Does that work? Yeah, that'll work. Brad Wilson, Shenandoah Shine Machine, starts on the pole here for tonight's race. 30, no, 40 lap, 40 lap feature from Charlotte. They gave us an extra 10 laps tonight. Yeehaw. Wilson out front, Nagel in second. Nathan Lafayette, third. Scott Elson, fourth. Cliff Mullins, fifth. Quinn Newton, sixth. Adam Grosjean, seventh. And Hoitzma after that crash in the, warm, in the uh, heat race. He will start back in the 8th hey, position. Fire. Cliff's hitting his teammate, uh, Nathan yeah, Lafayette. In the right now. He's got to hit three cars. <laughs> hitting the same car three times doesn't count, Cliff. <laughs> Let's see if we get this uh, four-wide salute down pat. You got some wing damage. So we'll go four wide at the line. A four wide salutation to the fans. Here we go. Trying to four wide. Salute. <laughs> Back row's got it together. It's close enough. Four wide salute for the fans. Close enough for government work, right? <laughs> there we go. Now it's looking pretty good. line will go back to two one. and then we'll get race 40 laps from Charlotte caution laps do count
pay his trucks off. Welcome, Wilson has control of the field, has to wait until the green flag. Mullins tagging the double zero once again. Green flag's out, and here we go. Wilson digging down low, Nagel trying to get alongside. Lafayette in third, under attack from Newton. Newton already up to the third spot now. Hoitzman started back in the eighth position, now he's up to fourth as those CTC cars are coming to the front. Cliff Mullins tags his teammate there, Nathan Lafayette. Scott Elston's gone around. Gets the car going once again. We stay green. Wilson leads in Nagel. And you have a Newton and Hoitzman. This could be a fun battle to watch for third. These two teammates love racing each other hard. Went down to the inside, close to those tires, which we saw him do in the heat race, clip that inside tire. Newton up the track, here comes Hoisman back to the inside. They trade this third spot back and forth as they're catching the 86 of Nagel. Now Newton down low, Hoisman up on the top of the track. Place was reeling in. Damon Nagel getting ready to go for the second position when he gets there. Nagel up against the fence on corner entry. Gets up against the wall. That's going to give away the second place. It's going to lose third also. Mullins not close enough to capitalize from fifth. But Nagel falls to fourth. Leader Brad Wilson's catching Scott Elston back of the pack. Elston spun out early on. He's been hoping for a yellow. Hasn't gotten it yet. So Wilson leads Hoitzman. The gap 1.9. See if Lucas can start working on that advantage. Close in on the leader. Point four at the line. 46 Adam Crozier has gone around down in the infield, so not bringing out a yellow. He takes it into pit road. Hoisma has the 85 to navigate around. Elson up by the outside wall. Hoisman gets by. Costs him maybe a couple tenths. Hoisman now have to set back after the 51 of Wilson. Closing in on halfway. Hoisman, a big slide there. Still 1.4 at the line, kind of maintained right there. Newton's falling back a bit. Elson up against the fence, there goes Newton by. Damon Nagel trying to run down Quinn Newton. With Mullins in the fifth spot, Nathan Lafayette is sixth. Scott Elston one lap down in seventh as we saw him Rush the fence, and there is Crozier who spun out, went into the pit road. Bradley Wilson closing in to try and put him three laps down. So we hit halfway. 20 down, 20 to go.
Oh my gosh. It's like Adam Courgeur lost it right in front of the leader. Bradley Wilson gets into him. 46 just goes around. Wilson, no way to avoid him. Piles into him. Wilson can't be too happy with that. May have a broken suspension on that 51. He may have to come take his fashion pair and work his way back through the field now. Yep, 51. Wilson having to come to pit road after that. <laughs> Mullins got why, up to his so hard? got up to his three car um, like hits that he needed to get to. No, no, it? Yeah, that right okay. front was broken on that 51 car. So Wilson drops to sixth here after leading the whole first half of the race. Right. Hoitzman takes over the lead. <laughs> Mullins giving him a scare there. Now the teammates that wrecked in the heat race find themselves one and two. Your troubles for early race dominator Brad Wilson. He'll be trying to come up from sixth with about 17 to go when we get going. Brad, I'm going to stay low and just go around the outside, man. There's Nagel saying uh, I'm going to go with the sure. outside. Where's that Elston? I think that was Elston. All right, here we go. Single file and green flag in the air. Lucas Hoitzma restarts his lap 22. Jumps out in front of Quinn Newton. Here comes the 51. Brad Wilson digging to the inside. Gets by Lafayette. Working on the 86. Cliff Mullins up against the fence. Wilson going to get Cliff here. Still fighting Nagel. Out front, it's still Hoitzma over teammate Quinn Newton. Wilson had that big advantage now. Finds himself fourth. There's Nagel and Newton. Battle for second, heating up. Nagel running just a bit higher than Newton. Seems to be giving him an advantage out on that end of the track. That time Newton up in the higher part, pushing that line higher and higher every time they go through. Nagel brushes the wall and exit didn't slow him down too much. Newton right up by the fence. See Wilson not too far behind. So these three are the closest in proximity on the track. We get the 10 to go. Newton trying to hang on over Damon Nagel and Bradley Wilson. This is the battle for second. It's Lucas Hoist was now three seconds ahead of this. Nagel going to try to get the inside of Quinn Newton here. Just not enough grip down low. Brad Wilson hoping for a mistake from either of these two. He's right in tow. Eagle right up against the fence, that right rear. Eagle trying to cut under Quinn Newton here. Going to get a decent run at him. See if you can get this slide complete. So we can get out to the wall. He left Quinn plenty of room. <laughs> he could have gone to the wall. Now Newton has Bradley Wilson. 
That time, Nagle wasn't clear to the wall. Goes up and collects Quinn Newton. All three of them are going to go into the fence. As Newton goes for a ride. Wilson's around. Here comes Cliff Mullins late to the party. Nathan Lafayette crashes in. Quinn Newton goes up and over. I think Nagle was going to try to turn him back over, but Newton went ahead and took the toe. So that sets up Hoitzma and Wilson. Top two for the restart. It was a shame. It was a good battle there for second, third, and fourth. Nathan Lafayette finds himself third. Cliff Mullins fourth. Okay, I've officially got everybody but Lucas now. <laughs> Far surpassed your quota. You've doubled it. Told you three, you went and got six. truck gets out of the way we're getting ready to go back racing Hoitzma turns it down tries to get the launch on Wilson Wilson pretty quick to respond but Hoitzma gets about a half second lead so we're now four laps to go from Charlotte dirt track both our leaders right up on the fence Mullins trying to hang on to third as the gap continues to grow up front Nagel looks to the inside of Mullins. Nagel going to get the spot. Damon Nagel takes over third in the Trevor Project machine. C2X teammates Mullins and Lafayette fourth and fifth. Then you have Scott Elston. Quinn Newton's back out there, albeit two laps down as Cliff Mullins goes around while the white flag waves. Lucas Oisva going to rock it off the final corner. Come to take the win. Brad Wilson, a distant second. Damon Nagel, third. Nathan Lafayette, fourth. You're just too fast, Lucas. Cliff Mullins brings it home fifth after that spin. Elston, sixth. Right, Sam. There you go, out. Oh, my Quinn God. Newton, seventh. Adam Crozier, eighth. Good race, everybody. Congrats, uh, Lucas. Now we will see you next week. Let's see if we can get the top three to the interview. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Have it done. Well, it's getting Lucas after the race. I'm happy for you, Cliff. <laughs> Nagel, Wilson, and Hoytsma to the waiting room, please. Next and thank you. Lanier. Lanier is a free track. Everybody got it. Should have a good car turnout. Hopefully everybody can come on out and do that one. Who we needed? Nagel? I'm going to bring him up here. Damon, DG, you got a copy? Hey, how's it going? It's going well, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. I first want to apologize to Quinn. I slid up a little too high into him there. It happens. It happens to the best of us. And, you know, uh, me, the worst of us. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about your uh, four-wide salute there tonight? Uh, it was a little messy. <laughs> Need <laughs> some <bit>. practice. <laughs> That's all right. Um, uh, I'm sure the fans nah. loved it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> nah. Oh, a strong third place run here tonight, avoiding all the uh, mayhem. Looks like the track kind of got one groove towards the end. If you were on the wall, you weren't making time. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's, I was able to catch them, but I could not pass past them because it was that one groove. But it was fun still. I don't like running next to the wall, but for some reason it hooked up tonight for me. Sam Four, you got those friends, family, and sponsor shout outs for us tonight? Uh, out front Minnesota and the Trevor Project again. And that's about it this week. 
Tam Four. Thanks Congrats for doing on this. the uh, third place run. Absolutely. You're welcome. Have a great night. You too. Damon Eagle brings it home in third. Now we'll go get Brad Wilson brings it home second. Brad, DG, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, sir, one spot short tonight, but uh, had a really strong car, led a lot of laps there, and that unfortunate contact there with the uh, lap machine. Uh, what did you maybe need there at the end to try and get Lucas? No, probably not the damage from the uh, wreck just prior to it, but, I mean, Lucas was just wicked fast on that. I'm not sure if, even if I had a clean car, if I could have got up to him. Yeah, unfortunately, you lost your track position there. I think if you were out front, I don't think you would have been able to do, do anything with you because you had to be against the wall, kind of a one groove there at the end. Yeah, but until he got up to me and passed me, I probably wouldn't have gone up there to begin with. Zam4. You got those friends, family, and sponsor shout-outs for us tonight? Uh, you for putting this on. It's always been a blast. Uh, Lucas from winning. Congrats to him. Clayton, he didn't show up today. He was kind of sick and tired from a full day of work. So shout-out to him. Hope he feels better. Awesome for the paint. Shenandoahshine.co for what they've done for me. And I guess Scott for producing this whole thing and getting everyone kind of put together. There you go. All right, sir. Congrats on the strong run tonight, and we'll see you next week. All right, thank you. Brad Wilson brings it home in second, and now we'll go get the man of the hour, Lucas Hoisma. Lucas, DG, you got the copy? Mm-hmm. Well, sir, you got a uh, victory in the first race of the night. Uh, looked like it would have been fun to see if you could run down Wilson, but unfortunately we didn't get to see that come to fruition, but able to hold him off as the track kind of slicked off, became a one-groove highline track there tonight. Were you worried at all that he might get you there at the restart, or were you kind of confident? Um, well, I think if he had a clean car, I, I think he had damage on that last start. But honestly, the way I was ripping that wall there at the end, I, I think it was going to be really tough to pass me. I just, I, for some reason tonight, I was really able to put the right rear on the wall like I'm not usually able to. So I was actually fast for once when it came to the, the wall track. But um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of the bottom middle to start out with and then it gradually as people started to run on the top marbles got pushed up and the wall line came in and once that berm got built up there was nowhere else he could run well it was a very strong run very impressive and uh do you have those friends family and sponsor shout outs for us tonight oh yeah big shout out to labor 12 low drag esports ctc um and everybody who puts this thing on i, I love the the four wide salute we did there and i love these these longer races the 40 lap feature is always fun so Look forward to doing some more races here in these sprint cars, and uh, big shout out to you for doing the broadcasting as always. Ten four for one broadcaster to another. Congrats on the win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Lucas Hoist for bringing home the victory tonight in the number seven. Have to say thanks to our sponsors, CaveRP.com. They help us put on the broadcast. So if you're looking for somewhere to do some role playing adventures and looking to get started, CaveRP.com be a great place to do that. If you have the Grand Theft Auto game, go on over to caverp.com check out all the tutorials learn how to do all of that but if you're a seasoned veteran of the rp this is also a perfect place for you lots of things going on i believe if you're in the know the angels of death clan and um i can't remember who they're attacking oh the saints are, are having a bit of a beef right now so they're going to have a bit of a bit of a gang war going on over there so if you find that kind of stuff and the storylines and all interesting go check it out caverp.com Thanks to them once again. Let's look at our final results. Obviously, Lucas picking up the victory tonight. You have Lucas, Bradley, Wilson, Damon Nagel, Nathan Lafayette, and Cliff Mullins scoring top fives. Mullins, with the spin right there at the end, ends up a lap down. Scott Elston comes home in the sixth position after a strong qualifying run. Quinn Newton, just not his night. Lots of contact uh, from his teammate and others. Winds up in seventh, and Adam Crozier newcomer to this uh, out there giving it a go we love to see that somebody trying out new things comes home in the eighth position hope you guys have a wonderful delightful rest of your night and we'll see you back here in the next race thank you so much